Damn, son, where'd you find this? Hey, Rockets fans, it's me, Kobe Tree. Remember, like, subscribe, and I'm going to try to break this game down and see if we can carry anything else from this game to the next game. There wasn't um, anything too special about this game. Uh, like I said, we didn't even travel out of the city. Uh, we stayed in San Antonio for a back-to-back -back game. Like I said, you'll see a lot of that this year um, just due to the fact that, you know, the NBA has cut down on traveling with teams. You know, you kind of saw that last week in Houston when the Lakers played us back to back. Um, like I said, you'll see that across the league. Um, they just want teams to stop traveling as much. Try to say stay as safe as possible. Um, when I break this game down, I just want to let y'all know during the game, probably at halftime, I want to say um, there was breaking news that the reason why the Houston Rockets trade for Depot in Indiana trying to get Karis LeVert took so long is when Karis LeVert took a physical, there was um, signs that he had a, a mass on his kidney. So prayers up for Karis LeVert. I hope it's nothing really serious. But like I said, that was the reason that the trade was held up. I thought it was other reasons. I thought it was it might have been a, a third team involved because I did I did know that you know Depot didn't want to come to Houston, but that was just rumors. I, I really don't necessarily know if they were true. So let's get into this game. Um, you know, off the top, the Rockets were shorthanded. They only had eight players. Um, I don't really have to go into too much details. It was. Kind of like the last game, um, you know, we just have so many guys that are injured. But it's like little injuries, nagging injuries. I don't know when the Rockets really are going to get a full roster back. Uh, it could be sometimes next week. I I only assume so. I hope so. But you got to see a lot of rookies this game and, you know, P.J. Tucker's leadership. You know, I saw, the, I saw a lot of P.J. Tucker, you know, leading this team. With his vocal, not much with his offense, but his defense. This second game, he missed a lot of threes, wide open threes mainly. But, you know, that's Tucker, you know. He's not going to be lights out every night. He did play solid defense, though. He has a very hard matchup with DeMar DeRosa or Rudy Gay. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. He's always guarding the best player on the opposing team's t defense. But, you know, that's eventually going to change since you have so many defensive-minded players on this team. You know, just Shante, Sterling Brown. And that's very that's very promising. You know, if, if even P.J. Tucker stays on this team, it, it's promising the fact that you don't have to use P.J. Tucker as much. You don't have to beat him down. You know, Ben McLemore really didn't have a great game. I expected him to play a little better in these games just due to the fact there was no James Harden, no John Wall, no Eric Gordon. Uh, the list goes on, but, you know, offensively, he was, you know, probably our best shooter. But, yeah, he, he really didn't have a great outing. We don't even have a point guard. I expected him to do a lot of the ball controlling. It was mainly Christian Wood and Mason Jones. As you see, Christian Wood had a really good game. You know, I expected a little more out of him offensively. But you know, there, there. Kevin, Kevin, um, Kevin Martin has a, a lot of upside. Kevin Martin Jr. has a lot of upside. He's only 19 years old. Uh, he could attack the rim. You know, he has a lot of promise. Demar Derosa attacking. Uh, Demar Derosa attacked this game a lot. Patty Mills was very efficient from the three point line. When there was a a big play that was needed or a big score, Patty Mills was there. He hit a lot of tough three-point shots, even layups. He was cutting. He played really aggressive. I got to give it up to Patty Mills. I think he was definitely the reason why they won this game. You know, DeMar, De DeMar, DeRosa, DeMar DeRosa, excuse me, was aggressive this whole game. Uh, you know, he was sometimes all over the place. He was sloppy, a little bit erotic, but... Uh, I guess he got the job done. And the Spurs are a really weird team. 
not weird and like they're odd, just like the mixture of their players. They got a lot of veterans and a lot of young guys. But you don't see a lot of coaching out there. I don't I don't see. I mean, but the whole the whole coaching staff is good. Uh, I know that. But between the Rockets and the Spurs, uh, I look at the two teams and I see a lot of coaching out there from P.J. Tucker and, you know, uh, from the other guys as well. I guess it's just P.J., I guess. It looks like the veterans really run this team for the Spurs, even though there are more young guys on this team. The veterans are like four of them who have a lot of miles on their tires. Like I said, DeMar DeRosa was killing us on the pick and roll. He was doing that the last game, and he shot a lot of mid-range shots. But, you know, it was vice versa because Christian Wood had a great game last game, and um, he had a good game this game. You know, LaMarcus Aldridge is just not there no more defensively. He's, you know, he's getting slower and slower. Uh, put a lot of miles on him. He's been in the NBA for a long time. It's crazy to even say that because I swear, like it was just like the other day, um, I had him on uh, my PSP and I was like, LaMarcus Aldridge is a good player. I'm getting over too, man. Circle of life. Christian Wood always has a something about Christian Wood when he he's on the perimeter, he closes out really well. He challenges shots to be missed, makes a shots shots more. Um, Closes them out. Like I said, he, he makes it a harder shot with that 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 link that he has, that arm length. And just Sean Tate had a pretty good game. I felt like he should have had the ball a little more, but you know, you have to change it up from game to game, especially when you're seeing a team back to back nights. You know, you can't do the necessarily the same stuff. You can change it up a little bit, but. Yeah, there's going to be so many adjustments. If a team can adjust to a back-to-back -back game versus the same team, then your team sucks. I mean, that was kind of like us versus the Spurs. I mean, the Rockets, excuse me, uh, the Lakers. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. Versus the Lakers, um, you know, we're all over the place. And, you know, that's really why James Harden, you know, was kind of like, I'm done. But he had to play it. He had to play with a lot of effort. He, Especially with seeing teams so much. It's like the playoffs now. You see a team multiple times back to back, you know, you kind of figure them out. It's how you adjust. Can you play more aggressively? You know, PJ Tucker got hit in the throat in this game. Uh, PJ Tucker got hit so many times in this game. Uh, I just feel like he's, you know, taking a hard, um, hard hit on his body this year so far. I love PJ, though. You know, there's some things that other players can't ever bring what PJ, what PJ brings besides his shoe game, for real. That shoe game on fire, but also that heart, that, you know, that second effort, what got him into the league. He's already 35, 36 years old, so I don't know how much he could, you know, thrive on that and last in the NBA. DeMar DeRosa does a hard, a very um, smooth turnaround on PJ to, you know, kind of put this game away. Because after DeMar DeRosa t does that turnaround, that turnaround fader on PJ, the game just kind of opened up for the Spurs. There was no looking back. They hit a few threes, and like I said, it was a wrap. Uh, the Rockets just got deflated. Mason Jones turned over the ball a lot. You know, he he needs uh, he needs a lot of time to play. He, he needs uh, he needs what he needs is a, a preseason. He needs a, to go to the developmental league, maybe the G League. He needs more time. But Coach Silas is you know getting them some minutes. These young guys, and it's important, you know. I respect Silas for that. No more Mike D'Antoni. No more not playing young guys. You got to see what you have if you want to keep going. Thank you all. Remember, like, subscribe. Um, you know, Stay tuned to my next video. I'm always coming up with new videos, new ideas. Thank you all.